Hey folks, hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to be giving a banjo lesson on the classic tune John Hardy. This tune's really neat because it's in the key of G, but it starts on a C chord, so it's a little unusual. It has a cool sound to it. And if you want to get the tab for this lesson and all my other lessons, that's available on my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash masonchrome. So if you want to get tabs or just support me in general, please consider checking that out. And I also wanted to mention that this week one of my viewers from the United Kingdom sent me this neat little banjo pin. I thought the strap in my banjo would make a good place for it, so thank you, Steve. All right, I'll give a quick demonstration of the version I'm going to be teaching and then show you how to do it. Alright guys, this tune starts with a walk up on the third string. It'll be open second, then open second string, and then you'll fret your C chord and do a foggy mountain roll, the first variation, then second string, and then a pinch and keep your ring finger on that fret, the second fret of the first string, then hit just the first string but on the third fret. Then do what you just did again, second fret, then open first, then pinch, and then the alternating thumb roll with a 2-3 slide. Open third, pinch. So what we got so far is this. Then you'll do what you did earlier, start on the second fret of the first string. Then do a forward roll with a 2-3 hammer on on the second string. Then a foggy mountain roll with those hammer ons. And then open. Then you'll do that same phrase again with the C chord. Same thing you did earlier. Okay, so that is it for the A part. It'll sound like this. slide with the alternating thumb roll again and then you'll fret your D chord and it's not like a full D chord it's not a D7 it's not a full D it's what they call a Scruggs D at least I've heard it called that it is your index finger on the second fret of the third string and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string so it sound like it's what they call the Scruggs D a lot of times because I guess Earl Scruggs invented it and you'll do the third string then do a forward roll starting on the fourth string then do third first and then do the forward roll again. Same thing. But keep it going and let your ring finger off of the fourth string to make it open. Then do the same thing you did earlier again. And then do this lick with the forward reverse roll and a slide. Pull off. Standard G lick. All right, I'll play that B part slowly. Play the whole thing slowly and then at normal speed.
and then at a more normal speed. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope to see you next time.